German Jews finance Hitler right here in America Lube and Loeb and Kuhn and Jacob Schiff international bankers finance Hitler and poor Jews die while big Jews were at the root of what you call the Holocaust. Why don't you tell that? Little Jews died while big Jews made money. Little Jews being turned into soap while big Jews washed themselves with it. Jews playing violin. Jews playing music while other Jews marching into the gas chambers. Now, if you were a Jewish American watching that, your reference to what you call the Holocaust, suggesting whether there was a Holocaust, and the whole reference to big Jews and little Jews and the emphasis you use, why wouldn't you say that's anti-Semitic? The question is, is it truth? If it is truth, then it is not anti-Semitic, it is truth. My problem with the Jewish community is, is that most uh, of the people feel, or the Jewish people feel, that if you criticize any act of Jews, that is anti-Semitic. If I criticize Arabs, if I criticize the government of the United States, if I criticize white people or my own black people, I'm not considered anti-black, anti-Arab. Why should anybody who criticizes Jewish behavior that ill affects black people and their pursuit of happiness be considered anti-Semitic? Last week, um, Orthodox Jews made the statement that reform and conservative Jews are off the page of Judaism. I saw it, not in the New York Times, but I saw it in the Chicago papers, just a little writing, but nobody called them anti-Semitic. But if I said that reformed Jews or conservative Jews or those that do not follow the laws, commandments, and statutes given by God to the prophets of Israel are not really Jews, then I'm considered anti-Semitic. I am not anti-Semitic. I do not hate Jewish people. I hate actions of any people, including my own, that are evil and are obstructive to justice, freedom, and equity. Do you believe there was a Holocaust in which six million Jews perished? Of course I believe that uh, Jews perished in Germany. And the same Jews that perished in Germany, while the Pope Pius XII looked the other way, and the government of America looked the other way, now there is reconciliation between Jews and Catholics and the government of the United States. What is wrong with reconciliation between those who look the other way when my fathers were being brought into America as slaves and to this very moment have not received justice? I think atonement, reconciliation, and responsibility should be the watchword for this time, and I'm willing to sit down with any who wish to discuss atonement, reconciliation, and responsibility. Would you be willing to retract or apologize for some of the things you said? If in any dialogue I can be shown to be in error, I would most surely apologize. But you cannot put me off in a corner and not dialogue with me and then say to me, Farrakhan speaks words that are hateful. If I can defend every word that I speak and every word that I speak is truth, then I have nothing to apologize for. But if in a dialogue you can show me where I am in error, I am not a proud man. I will humble myself and go before the world and apologize. But now the burden is, will you show me where I am wrong? 
I went up on the internet last night, www.noi, Nation of Islam, org, and found a, an essay written uh, by one of your followers, and it said the following, the Jews' awesome control over American society and government. All presidents since Franklin Roosevelt, 1932, are controlled by Jews. Do you believe that? I believe that for the small numbers of Jewish people in the United States, they exercise a tremendous amount of influence on the affairs of government. Right now, there is a tremendous problem in the Middle East, a very grave problem. I do not think that President Clinton is handling his role in the most responsible manner. As you know, East Jerusalem was under Palestinian control until the year 1967. After the Six-Day War, it was annexed by Israel. It is part of ongoing negotiations. Now, for Netanyahu to say he wishes to build now in uh, East Jerusalem, and the world says he shouldn't do this. And since he said he would build and started moving on that, violence has erupted and the peace process has been brought to a halt. Mr. President, the Cl Mr. Clinton, instead of exercising the strength of a man whose country contributes at least $4 billion every year to the state of Israel, uh, America has influence in Israel, but is not using that influence in a constructive way, but rather pays lip service to the Palestinians while she bows to the dictates of, uh, of, of Netanyahu and the strong political uh, Jewish lobby. Uh, Mr. Farrakhan, you seem to be suggesting that what you told Henry Louis Gates in New York, or you still believe there's a small Jewish cabal that meets on Park Avenue or Hollywood and tries to shape our culture. I don't know why you would put that on me. I was quoting a Jewish movie producer in Jamaica producing the movie Lost in the Stars and it was that Jewish uh, producer who told me this. I didn't ask him. He mentioned this, but this to is, me. This is what you said, sir. Who controls black arts? Who controls black sports figures? Who controls black intellectuals? Black politicians? When I talk to the Jews, I'm talking to a segment of that quorum that holds my people in their grip. And that is true. Who controls the movement of the NAACP, the Urban League? Who controls black politicians? Who does? Why is it that when I go before our brothers in quiet, they can say good things about me? But when they fear uh, the Jewish reaction to any kind word, look at Mr. Novak. Look at, he just said a few kind words about my work, and look at the kind of brickbats he has received. Uh, Mayor Rendell invited me to Philadelphia, and look at the brickbats he's receiving from his own people. Yes, they exercise extraordinary control. We cannot allow ourselves to be controlled by any outside group we must take control of our own destiny that is what i preach and that is what i believe and that is what i'm striving for